Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have another small success story for you with regard to yard irrigation, this time in the front yard. You know it's raining now, the second day of rain and uh, it's a rare event in Los Angeles so I'm eager to catch every tiny bit of water and funnel it directly into the water table beneath the front and backyards. You may recall in the front yard I added cedar chips directly in front of the house recently to try to stave off the invasion of ants that has been taking place. After I did that I, I discovered the large white grubs and the very next day I hired an expert to take care of exterminating those grubs. You've seen those videos, I'm sure. But now here we are again with the master plan for the front yard. In addition to the cedar chips, I had a, a notion of improving yard irrigation. All right, now here we have a rain chain that I installed long ago, and it went into a, a small well of rocks here, and then prior to the renovation in front, it went out this way and it proceeded on down the driveway, which of course is not perfect. So when I renovated the front yard with the cedar chips, I added a deep bowl of rocks with the notion that this might provide a water reservoir. Then the water would go directly down into the earth and that in fact during this rain is exactly what has happened. The rain comes down the water channel. You can see it's tapering off right now. The water channel uh, slows it down so that it doesn't create a big dent when it hits the earth. And you can get those water channels from Walmart, I think, or places like that. The bowl is deep enough now. It's quite deep, several feet deep. And even if there were a huge rainfall, it would still, I think, contain this water. So then from the water table deep in the earth, the water will be able to nourish the palm tree here. Oh yes, you'll notice that I placed the water bowl and the, the bubbler for the palm tree as far as possible from the wall of the house with the notion that it won't get in under the basement area of the house and and cause a flood. So that's my that's my notion. What do you think?